Here we go. Hey guys, it's May May and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. Are we live? I think we are. I think we are. I saw Kim say, wowza, people from everywhere. Where are we from? Look at all these places. I like when y'all do this. Y'all, the chat is right in front of my face. This is bad. Look what we have done to me. I'm not really supposed to have the chat. I'm supposed to not be allowed to have the chat because it de derails me. But we're rearranging and redoing the studio, so now I have the chat right in front of my face. Easily distracted. So, um, today we're going to play with Scotty. I discovered, okay, let me just say this. This is not just a Scotty thing. Anything you have in your house will work with this. I just was sitting here trying to make this happen and went, what if I got that'll work? And I went, Scotty will work. And I thought people might have Scotty. But other things that will work are like your tape, anything that's curved, especially a shallow curve. See how shallow Scotty's curve is right now? Now, if I had used him a good bit, he might not still work. You'll see what I mean in a minute. But So I'm giving Scotty a lot of credit, but it really could be, like the title says, Scotty has a new talent, and he does, but it really could be anything in your craft room. So let me show you what we're going to be making. So I have a little, oh, let me show what we're using. Scotty, I'm going to use this stamp set because I'm in love with it. I'm going to use this paper pack called Frostival, which we have some in stock. I don't know why we do. Y'all, this is the cutest pack ever. Y'all need to go grab this one. Very perfect for your hot chocolatey gifts, which is what we're doing today. All right, look. I bought, where did they go? I put them up, I guess. A pile of On hot Amazon. Right it's over there. On Amazon. Did we get it? Um, no, that's okay. I'll come back after the video and put the link for these in in case you wanted the same ones. But on Amazon, I bought a box that has four flavors. It's massive. It's a big O box. Because I like to have this stuff around for me, but also for gifts, because I think it makes cute paper crafting gifts. So I wanted to make one of those cups. This is not new. Y'all have seen these paper cups everywhere. But a lot of people use like dies to make them or something like that. I thought, we don't need a die. I want to show you how we're going to do it. So today we're going to make these cups, and I'm even going to show you how to get a bunch out of a piece of paper. Because y'all love that. Y'all love when you can have like one piece of paper and get like four gifts. So that's what we're going to try to do. All right, so because of that, I wanted to use this. But because I want to do kind of an as many as, we're going to use a different piece. Let's see what piece I want to use. I love this plaid, but that one's been cut. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Can I use the plaid and y'all won't care? Because I used the plaid the other day. Y'all know I love this plaid. Y'all know I love plaid. Somebody was talking about tattoos. Totally off subject. Totally. Talking about tattoos, and I was like, my problem with tattoos is I won't be able to commit to one. I went, unless I could get, like, plaid or buffalo check. Those I can commit to. I love those things. <laughs> okay. I digress. Um, let's get our trimmer out. Okay, let me show you my plan for getting multiples. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my little designer strip off. You do not need much paper to make this cup. Not much at all. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pay attention to the orientation. Oh, yay, there's none on this paper. <laughs> I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to cut four inches off the bottom because I think this is going to work just right. I'm going to cut four inches off the bottom, so that will give me a four by 12 inch strip from the bottom. Okay. Then I'm going to cut the rest of this into four, okay? So it's going to be four, hopefully, by eight, if I did my math right, right here on the fly. Yes, four by eight, and another four that'll be four by eight. You guessed it. We need a four by eight piece for each cup. So look what we're going to be able to do. We're going to be able to take this guy and cut it down to eight, and from this sheet, we will only have one four by four square left, which we can use in a minute. We'll get there, Okay. All right, let's build the cup. The cup is so easy to make. I'm going to make one with you guys, but this would make four. So we got four from one sheet. See, y'all love that. I do too, because I like for it to stretch, right? All right, I'm going to fold this in half, but I'm going to score it first. And y'all, it's going to be slow today because everything's in a different place. And normally I'd be like, I'm going to score it. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everything's been moved. Shannon reorganized my desk for me, which is fantastic. I'm not complaining. I just don't know where everything is. I love how it looks. I've just got to get used to it. All right, so we're going to score this at four. 
and I'm going to score it gently. Let me tell you why. This is photo play paper, and photo play you can be a little too heavy handed with when you score it. So I did a gentle score on this side, and I'm going to do a gentle score on the other side too, in hopes that it helps with my cracking. It probably won't 100% because this paper tends to crack. But if it cracks, you ink it. If, you, if it cracks, you ink it. There you go. All right, I'm going to fold this over. And I'm going to line this up as good as I can. And then I'm going to crease this down. And you're like, but where does Scotty come in? Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. Let me show you. You can do anything. You can do a plate. I've shown you how to do this stuff with a plate. I've shown you how to do it with so many different things. But I just think it's fun to do it with Scotty. Grab me a pencil. This one needs sharpening. Let's get one that don't need sharpening. Because that one does. Here we go. Pencil. There we go. All right, what I'm going to do, I'm having to work really high on my work surface, so I'm having to do a little weird here because I don't have my camera set up just like I want it. So I'm going to take the curve of Scotty, and at the bottom of this folded over piece of cardstock, y'all know where this is going, don't y'all? Do you know where it's going, Ben? Kind of, sort of. I'm going to trace this curve just like that. Okay, so I've got my bottom of my cup traced. Is that where we're going? Now I'm going to come up here to the top, and I'm going to lay this little guy down from corner to corner, laying Scotty down from corner to corner at the top of this folded piece of cardstock and trace again, and that's going to be the top of our cup. You don't need fancy tools, and you don't have to have Scotty, but he works really well, and the bonus is you get to smell him. <laughs> he works great for this. My scissors, I'll use my old scissors. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that pencil line. Now, here's what I suggest. I want to show you this really quick. I'm going to make this one time. Y'all know the deal. Y'all know me well enough. Y'all have to get sick of me doing this. I feel like I do the, tell y'all the same stuff over and over again. But you're going to trim these out. Take your time on this. This is this. If this is the longest part of this project, and it is, the you can make these the night before you need them. You know. So. Here's what you do now. Don't go through all that again to make the rest of them. You do have to score. <laughs> but do all your scoring. Gentle. And then flip and gentle. So then on your, on your following cups that you're going to be making, because you need a bunch of these for all your coworkers and all your kids' school friends and all your, skid, your kids' teachers, on the following ones, you'll have a template. So, I'll take this guy, line them up together best as I can. Kind of like that. Then I'll trace and cut. Now they're not going to be exact, but listen, they're handmade. I'd rather have it handmade than exact. And also, you're not going to give the same people the same thing, right? If you're not going to give, y'all don't know, you might give somebody two or three of these, but I mean, you may not. But I think these are super cute. This is a great way to give a gift card. It's a great way to give hot chocolate. It's a great way to give snowman soup, if y'all have ever done that before. It's a great way to give um, cash. It's a great way to give, what else is flat? Like they all say, green always fits. Green fits. What is snowman soup? It's basically hot chocolate, but you call it snowman soup. No, <laughs> you're so funny. Um, it's a, it's like hot chocolate with the marshmallows and all that, but it's in one container together. And so you pour it into a cup and then you put the water. Yeah, and it's snowman soup. All right, now you're thinking, but you ain't made no handle. <laughs> oh, Is but she's gonna. Thinking? That's what you they said. Made no you ain't made no handle. <laughs> That's what they're, but she's gonna. So let me show you what she's gonna do to make her handle. Let's decide what I want to be my handle. Do I want it to be coordinating? Not that color. Do I want it to be this? That'd be cute coming off there. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so here's how I'm going to make my handle. I did not, I didn't test it. Oh, I know. Let's use that little scrap first. You know, we got this four by four piece. Let's use this one first. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my two inch punch. Okay, this is a tool I have, but you can just make a two inch circle and trace it. You don't have to do anything fancy. And I'm just going to sit this in here, something like that, maybe about half of the punch, okay? So that gets me started. Then what I'm going to do is take Scotty again, okay? 
and I'm going to lay him where you guys can see what's happening like this. I'm going to use my camera to help me line it up because y'all can probably see it better than I can. Whatever thickness you want your handle to be. I'm going to have to turn it so I can see it. Let me see if I can make it where y'all can see it too. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. So you're going to lay Scotty around that. Okay. And trace it. And again, once you make one, he becomes your template. You just use him over and over again. All right. So I'm going to cut that guy out. Like so. Okay. Talk amongst yourselves. Just trying to figure out how you came up with this idea. Necessity. I've been doing that a lot lately. I've just been sitting here going, I want to create this. What's within hand's reach? What's within arm, arm's reach to do this? Now, I'm not going to tell you that in a minute I don't pull out some fancy tools. I'll tell you in a second we're going to. But you don't have to. And I'll show you why, what you don't have, you know, how you don't have to. So there's one handle. Y'all, we might could get all our handles from this piece of cardstock. How do I want to do it? Do I want to trace this or do I want to, I don't want to punch. So let's, let's let this do it. Let's let this do the work. I might've cut too much off, but we'll see. I'll do it like this so y'all can see it. I'll just lay this here. No, it's pretty good. Pretty good eyeballing if you ask me. Tell me if I get out of screen because I'm a little awkward today with the new setup because I didn't, I don't quite have it right. All right, there's that one. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. I don't know if I can. We're gonna try though. Well, I only need the two handles because I'm only making two on camera. But anyway, you can you see the you see the idea. Look, I can get another one right here too. Okay, you see the idea. All right, let me cut this one out. Anything to talk about today? Anything going on in anyone's world? Anybody got crafty questions? Anybody excited about Fabulous Friday? Whoop, whoop. I like the idea of Fabulous Fridays. Just the idea of it? Well, yeah. I mean, it's... I ain't real fond of how cheap you want to sell stuff, but... That's me. That's my name. All right, let's do cheap. this. It's affordable. Affordable. Friendly. Customer friendly. Approval. It's Robin. <laughs> you. All right, let me show y'all. My new favorite thing is to let my ruler do the spacing for me. So I'm going to put my ruler in here like this so it can be my hot chocolate packet. I'm wow, going to. I like your spoon bracelet, by the way. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm going to take my art glitter glue and run it down like this on two sides, the bottom curve and the side. And before I close this up, I'm going to add my handle to it. Um, do I want the handle to go plaid? Let's do. So I'm just going to add my little handle here before I close it. So I'm going to sit that in there, and I'm just going to put a little glue on top of here, and on top of here, and now I'm going to send this over. And now the reason I'm using my ruler is because I need a little gap. Mostly at the, you know, mostly so my... um. Hot chocolate will fit in here. That's enough. Now I need to press it down. Somebody wants to know what Fabulous Friday is. Ooh, Fabulous Friday is in the month of December. We're doing some deals on Fridays. Look, I didn't line up very good right there. It makes me sad. Do I want to fix it? I probably will. Um, we're doing some deals on Friday, and tomorrow we have three deals? I think it's three. We try to do three. Sure. All right, let this dry before you put hot chocolate in it. Let it dry. Um, let's do the other one. Uh, thank you for asking, Michelle. My back is doing much better today. Much better. He has it. Slowly improving every day. Today hasn't been very bad from your walk, from your get around, I can tell. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it's still bad, but you've been getting around good today, is what I should say. Your giddy up has been your giddy much up better. Has gotten up and getting. Okay. I don't want to give it credit to that new stuff I'm taking, but I'm afraid don't to yet. just yet. Don't yet. <laughs> don't yet. All right, let's put this one on. I don't want to jinx it. I just stuck my finger in the glue. Okay, rookie. It is art glitter glue. <laughs> it's like I've never done this before. Now, I will tell you this about art glitter glue. 
it does not dry clear on your hands. Oh, no, you can get off your hands. <laughs> it's just as black as it can be. Here's a question. Am I putting my tea, my handles on the wrong side for the cup? Some of y'all be like, that's not the side I hold. I get it. But I think most um, most marketed cups is on this side, isn't it? I think most of them are. Could be wrong. I drink, I drink that here. You do? Okay, we have two cups made that we can add hot chocolate to, but they need to be cute. They are cute, but they need to be cute-er, right? How are you going to make them cute? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> it's like we practiced it. We did not practice that. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. I am going to use my to new like stamp set. y'all been doing some plotting and planning. We didn't plot. Nope. She didn't even know I was making today. Didn't even know. I didn't know what I was making until an hour ago. I've been um, busy. Oh, um, Debbie says she's way excited for Fabulous Friday. Way Okay. Excited. New stamp set. Did I show y'all? I think I did. Snow Wonderful. Love this one. Love the stamp set. We're going to use this big guy right here, but I'm going to show you what I did. Okay, this is where I used a fancy tool, all right? I went to the Cricut, and I cut the SVG. There's a free SVG with our stamps. I went to the Cricut and cut it out. And it's you want to do that. I think you do. If you're mass producing, especially. You do. And then, Otherwise, you have to fussy cut it like that's that. right. Get your original Misty, okay? Put your mat in. This is this is why, like, I literally want to film a video called Why Cricket Joy Should Be at the Top of Your List. Yep. It, I have so many reasons why. Put this in like this. Get your stamp set. Place your stamp. So, let, remember my trick? What's the trick? I don't even have to do anything. That's laid on there just right. But, turn so I can see it. Here's my trick your stamps are sticky. They won't stick to a pencil eraser, but they'll stick to your hand. They will stick to your hand. Or your pretty fingernails. Or your fingernails, especially fingernails your fingernails. Fingernails look really pretty today, too, by the way. What? Your fingernails look very pretty today. Thanks, babe. I think he did a really good job this time. You know why? Because he did square, square. Square, square. I always say. Mine are really good this time. Are I've they? Been, I've been happy with them. Good. He says, uh, you want them square? I said, square, square. Because he always likes to round the edge a little bit. I'm like, no, square, square. I want them square. So we're going to place How our little people. Square, square, square. My nails are square, square. square. All right, see how that's sticking to my fingers? But it won't stick to my pencil. Okay, so Anastasia wants to know what white Anastasia. paper. Anastasia. Gotta be. It is her. I just, why in the world? Anesthesia I can't say it right. is what you get when you go into surgery. <laughs> Maybe that's what I'm wanting. I'm wanting Anastasia. some drugs or something to help me. Okay. She don't know what? She wants to know what weight, weight paper. paper you used. This particular paper, I am pretty sure, is the PA paper. Is she talking about the pattern paper or the white paper? Uh, Probably the white. The white paper the because white she paper says you cut, cut the, the SVG, SVG out yeah. of. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is my PA, the really affordable one. If it was a stack that you found sitting somewhere, it was PA. I reached in here. Colin wants sure to was. know... Are the SVGs pre-sized for SVGs? Yes. They're pre-sized to fit these images. All right, now I'm going to close this and pick this up. Now I'm going to make sure that's where I want it. You can put a magnet in here you want, but I'm not going to put a magnet. I don't need a magnet. What I do need is this little guy. Loving it. Yay, Cassie. She's got a Misty in the mail. Uh, can't they're great. Wait home to get, can't wait to get home to use it with her cricket. Joy. Are you singing like you're what you're Christmas. doing? Deck the halls with bells. That's Holly. Hold on. I'm sorry. I know it says, deck the halls with bells and Holly. <laughs> you didn't have a Josh. Yeah. <laughs> Bless your heart. Josh never got the lyrics right, but uh, we were in the car one day. I'll but tell you he the story. sure would argue with you that he, he was right. He would argue, and we were in the car one day, and he's singing to the top of his lungs. And he's singing, um, how does it go before it? I know I want to go, let's see. It's walking in a winter yeah. wonderland. And it's, um, later on we'll, is that where it starts? Later on we'll conspire as we dream by the fire. Yeah, and then he yeah. goes, to face the same, the plans that we made. And we're in the front seat, and I go, what What did he just say? I said, Josh, what did? What was that word you just sang? And he said, to face the same. And I 
And I said, what is Faisal saying? He said, I don't know, but that's what they say. <laughs> <laughs> so now we only sing to Faisal saying. Yep. We have no idea what it is. I saw it deck the hall, the bells, bells and holly. Like that, the same thing? Is that how y'all sing it now? Yes. And then, um, it's better than bells and holly. It is. I like bells and holly better. Bells and holly. It's true. <laughs> That's so funny. To face all the same. That's like how we sing it every and, time. And where does my help come from? His help. His help. Help or health? Which one? Health is right. It's a casting crown song. Where does my help? No, where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord. Josh saying, where does my health come from? My where help comes from my the Lord. Come from? <laughs> my sister is bad about Christmas. She, or about any song, period. She just but he changes. Gets, the lyrics. And he literally gets that from me because I have butchered some lyrics over the years. He does. He does. Well, I mean, and sometimes you just have to look them up because it doesn't sound like what they're saying. Prismacolors. Okay, listen. So y'all saw Shannon, saw Shannon using my nice, somebody commented on those Prismacolors, where to get them. Yeah. Okay. They're the very style. nice and they're an investment and we love them, but we wanted to offer something to you in our store that you could afford and wouldn't have to spend, what are those, $70 uh, for ish. that set? Something yeah. like that? These are much more affordable. They're still expensive for color pencils, but you get a really good selection at a really good price. So these Prismacolors, which are Scholar, by the way, they're fine. These are like, this they're, is a more affordable version for students. Had we not been in Total Room Tornado, you would have used these. I would have used those, but I had no clue where they were. We couldn't find anything yesterday. Okay, we have a question from Cheryl. Cheryl also, hold on asks, one second. Also, these stand like that, so cool. Can uh -huh. you use the small mat in the Cricut? The small mat in the regular Cricut? I'm guessing she's talking about the mat for the joy in the regular Cricut. No. No, no it has to um, feed with the, I call them feed dogs. I don't think they call them that. But the wheels that roll have to roll like this, and this guy won't work in the, um, in the other one. I mean, you probably, I don't know. You probably could work it around. To, I don't know. But it works in the joy really, really, really perfectly. Do we have... We're trying to get the regular size Misty back in. It was out of stock the last time I checked, but I will check again. I don't want to color all of this. I'm going to do something different. Let me tell you, it's a lot to color. I don't want to color it all. I think I'm going to just do some... Do some highlighting. I'm going to do some... Um, what's a monochromatic? I'm going to try to do that. I'm not good at it. What about some shading? Just kind of, is that what monochromatic? I'm not good at this, so we'll see what happens. It may go south. It has to go north. I don't know. As long as I don't pick up yellow. There's no man. They have to go north. Had to make it clear. Vince said, as long as we don't pick up yellow. That's right. You don't want no yellow. Hey, where are the Prisma? Where are our big ones? I want the blender pencil. I don't know that it's in here. Don't we Don't we have a blender pencil? We have one. I'll look for it while you color. And don't we have one in store? Yes. I want to make sure I do before I use it. Um, That is a... Yes, we do have the blenders in stock. Okay, I want to make sure before I start using it. Um, do I need to zoom? Do you want me to zoom in? Zoom, zoom, zoom. I don't see the. I wish I had a remote that would do the zooming. So we're just going to do some little. We're going to fake it. Fake it. It was in the Prismacolors. You found it? Yes, I found it. She found it. All right. Blender pencil. Love the blender pencil. This you can buy. I think we have these in a two-pack. It is. So you can get these. It's colorless. So it helps to blend out your pencils, and I think it's so pretty. They're $3.99 for a two-pack. Now, do me a favor. When you're, I used a pigment ink. I probably shouldn't have, but I did, because this blender pencil will move pigment ink. See, I just moved it. So be careful with when you're... Use your dye ink with this guy. Hey, your hands will move the ink too. That's what I did. I'm just gonna do everybody in different shades of blue. They're so pretty. Probably shouldn't because we have a lot of blue on that cup. I'll add some. I'll add orange for their noses and stuff. Can you make me a cup like that in real life? A real one? Did we? Did you make coffee we didn't drink? Nope. Okay. Oh, Never got in there. Not good that. I didn't waste any coffee. That's, that's what's the good. good. 
because I'd have been sad. You also can put your white pencil in there too to add a little more color. I mean, not really color, but to add something for it to move from. You could do white first and then color on top and then blend. This a little gray I'm gonna put in there. Oh, I need to do their faces before I forget which colors I used on which ones. Just a little bit of color, just laying down some color. Let's put in the pencil, please. I'm gonna color on the. I wanna clean this pencil up a little bit. I don't think it was cleaned up last time it was used. Here's what I like to do to clean it up. You can sharpen it, but I got a lot of lead showing, so I'm just gonna kinda do this to kinda clean it up a little bit. Old school sharpening. There we go. Feel better about that. On the package, I don't have the packaging anymore, but on the package of this blender pencil, um, it shows you them blended on the back. I'm pretty sure it does, if I remember. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Yes, Prismacolor pencils are awesome. I bought mine in college. They're expensive. They're they're, they're an investment. They, they are. I feel like I needed to take out a loan when I bought mine. They are expensive. But I was also a college student. <laughs> so I probably did take out a loan to buy mine. Cute. Cute. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm still going to be here in a minute. But it's a cute minute. Is that the same color? No. We're going to need to talk amongst ourselves, y'all. What fun things would you like to discuss? I don't know. Should we ask them the question that we pondered this morning on the way to work? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, here's the question. If you had to be stuck in any Christmas movie, not that you're looping the movie, but you're stuck in the environment of that Christmas movie, whatever that, not, I don't know what, climate, no, era, all that. Whatever Christmas movie, which one do you want to be stuck in? Don't just answer. Don't knee jerk answer because you got to think. You got to think about it. Um, you'd be stuck in it forever. Not the storyline, just the lifestyle. You know, does that make sense? Yeah. I was just thinking about ours. <laughs> we studied on it, didn't we? Yeah, in pretty deep detail. I did. Because I listen. I got mine down to, was it three that we were going off of that we were really trying to decide? I have a one and a two. That's Kim what I've said got. White Christmas. Somebody said White Christmas? Kim did. Kim, what's your reasoning? Like, what's the, think about it. Think about it. You got to think, like, maybe I should tell y'all some of my thought processes so you can see where I'm coming from. Or maybe I shouldn't because you'll think, wow. There's another White Christmas. It's a wonderful life. It's a holiday. <laughs> That's what Shannon said. I said the holiday too, Valerie. All right, let me tell you this. So I chose for mine Christmas with the Cranks. And let me tell you why. Because number one, I love that it's in the era when shopping malls were a thing. Remember when they went and got their um, tanning, their spray tans done? They went to a shopping mall. And I love that. It was in that era, right? I also love that the whole neighborhood were the kind of people that wanted to decorate their houses to match. Like, they all had the little matching Frosties. I love that. I also loved that they still had a Christmas party. Like, they were that, it was that climate where they had the Christmas party where everybody came and brought something. And and all the people there were not family. They were just people, just I neighbors. Think about, I think I just thought of one. Holiday Inn. That's a good one. But it's wartime, right? Well, it's right after wartime. Is that a good time? I don't know. Well, I mean, everybody was so patriotic. True. And I could be stuck in Vermont. I, I think I could. You think you could be stuck in Vermont? I think yeah, I could. Yeah, they have pretty falls. I mean, oh. Beautiful falls. Wonderful oh, snowy snow. winters. So now are y'all going to rethink or going to think as deep as I did? Because my second option, my second plan was the Santa Claus one, the first one. And the reason is I could be stuck in the Tim Allen era. Remember how life was back then? How we were kind of more relaxed and 
you know, we, I don't know, life was just different back then, you know? I could be stuck in that era. Tamitha said, meet me in St. Louis. That's a good one. But you know what? I can't be without technology. That's, that's what, what was the one? Y'all seen her yesterday. I forgot my tiny computer at home. What was it that, um, we were talking about that this morning, and I said, I can't do that one because of technology. I got to have my technology. Well, y'all y'all to have think. to know, I really, really, really thought this thing out. I'm a very patriotic person. Yeah. Y'all when I think about, I mean, and I, I have such a tender, soft place in my heart for the military people. Uh -huh. And just thinking about Holiday Inn and how they treated uh, the general, and uh, that just was, it's a great movie. Yeah. Great, great movie. But you got to think more than the storyline because it's not just the storyline. Oh, I know. Or I made you do that. It was That wasn't a rule. What else are we hearing? Hallmark Evergreen. Christmas shoes. I got to be honest with you all. Are you talking about? No. No, not Christmas shoes. I thought you were talking about the other. Okay, no. Miracle on 34th Street. Christmas Chronicles. Christmas in Connecticut. A Christmas Story. Yes, but The Cottage in England, Valerie. Yes. Karen said, what about Blue Hawaii? <laughs> do I get to be stuck with Elvis? Because I can do that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Honesty, babe. Honesty. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. You know, that cottage in England would probably be fun until... Until it's cold. <laughs> they got fireplace though. Yeah, but you remember how she was struggling with it? No. She struggled with that fireplace not too long till Judd came along. <laughs> and she's like, Is it cold near to me? <laughs> what are you talking about, cold? Yeah, I What's haven't so seen Holiday Inn this year. I can't wait to see it. Like I know it'll be on yeah. soon. Yeah, I wish I could look like her. Just sling your oh, hair so around. Your don't cousin care. El Elvis, my man. Huh? My cousin, yeah. I know he's my cousin, but it's distant. This person Daria said, take to me to Whoville. No, that's what Sylvia said. And I said, I don't know. I don't know. It's a rough It's a rough crowd in Whoville. I don't know. I feel like we live in Whoville sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes there's a lot of Grinches around us. All right. I got my tickets to Dollywood, Tamitha. I'm going to hit a little green right here, and we're going to call this colored. We don't have all day for this because I could spend all day on it. I can't wait to see Tamitha color this one. I bet she can't wait to color it. Tamitha, your challenge is I want to see it in like three different color schemes. Anastasia. <laughs> Are you practicing? I want to make sure I say it right. She said, poor Vinny, you've been booted for Elvis. Oh, I can't boot over Vinny. Why are your snowman cuter than I now? I can't boot oh Vinny. Yeah, she stuck with me. He my love. I'm jealous. We had a date last night. It was nice, wasn't it? It was very nice. We had a good time. We did nothing. We went to a restaurant. We were home by 7 <laughs> <laughs> Well. Wow, I mean, y'all beat me home on your date. <laughs> you wild, crazy kids. That's fun. This is bad. I cannot stop. I keep seeing places I want to add color. Well, you know, little Joe was home alone by himself, and we hated uh, that. Oh, one. gosh. That was it. Little Joe. Little Joe. Poor little Joe. Little Joe. He had his tiny computer with him, though, I bet. He had his tiny computer and his <laughs> large computer. Yeah, I forgot my phone at home yesterday, and I decided I wasn't going to go back and get it. I was just going to tough it out. And I got to be honest with you, that was tough. <laughs> I off. literally toughed it out. Okay, we're going to call that done. It's not done. I would color forever. I would just keep going. But let me show y'all. So cute. Here's my plan. My plan is to put this down here like this. Look, those colors. Okay, I did good from guessing. Put this down here, right? And then we're going to put a little sentiment up here. Up here, up here, up here. Let me get some scissors. I'm going to cut this down like so. Make it a little smaller. Get me something to stamp with. I'm going to say, your snow, amazing. Thanks. She knew I was going to do that. Your snow, amazing. All right, so 
let's get. Okay, so this came up in the discussion. White Christmas was also a movie, but um, Holiday Inn was like a precursor to that, right? Yeah, Holiday Inn was before White Christmas, but it they were both based off, kind of off of each the other. The same story mm -hmm. line, kind of. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. So Holiday Inn had Bing Crosby, Danny, Danny Kaye. Kay. Um, what were the women's name? The uh, George Clooney's mom. What's no, her name? Aunt Rosemary. Aunt Rosemary Clooney was in it. And then um, I can't oh, remember the little blonde's name. She was known for her waist. Do you remember this? She was yeah, known for she how had thin. Such a and tiny, you remember tiny they? Waist. Um, if you watch like the director's cut, they tried to make her costume make her look bigger. Who and, was this? Um, the blonde from somebody will tell you in a second. From the blonde Holiday from Inn. no. Yeah. Um, I thought I had her name. Mama can tell me. <laughs> you want me to Google it? Yeah. No, Is somebody will tell you in a second. It? I'll tell you. That's right. I knew we had that mixed up. Here it is. Holiday Inn is Fred Astaire and Bing Crosby. It was first. Danny K. That's why I was like, wait a minute. Danny K. and um, say it. Bing Crosby were in the um, the white Christmas version, the color version, which they're not exactly the same. Still good. All right. Because you know why you love that one? Because you love when they sing snow. Yeah, but is that Holiday Inn or is that White Christmas? White Christmas. Holiday Inn is the other one. Ginger Rogers, Vera Ellen is in White Christmas. It Vera. is White Christmas. Vera is the really thin one, right? Yeah. Okay, I had it wrong. You're mixing them up. I'm mixing them up. Yeah, White Christmas is my favorite. That's where, that's where I'd want to stay. Y'all, I really like this. This is turning out cute. Okay. Vera Ellen, she was so tiny. Uh, she was so tiny, the costume designer almost quit. My mama watched all those, um, like, behind-the-scenes stuff and told me about them. But I like Holiday Inn, too. Why Vera am I Ellen. getting it mixed up? I'm confused. I'm very confused. We could have a movie night, and I could get you straightened out. Y'all, look, I really like this. We have a Joe basketball night. Yeah, we do. That's a date, too. Are you guys seeing this, how cute this is? All right, I'm going to put this one in. This is the hot chocolate I'm putting in it. I also have back there, Shannon, do I have any candy canes? Uh, yeah. I got to zoom back out a little bit. Oh, I thought they were right on your shelf. Did I move them? Sorry. No, you're fine. How many you want? Just one. I just want to put, I'm going to see. It'll be a little thick, and you might not want to use, you might not want to do the candy cane, but wouldn't that be cute oh, in there, too? That is cute. Look, the little what? cup. I like the little snowman across the bottom. I think it's super cute, and I think that'd be a great little gift. So I need two of them. A great little gift, and super easy to do, and I didn't have any fancy dyes or nothing. Nothing. What do y'all think? You like it? I want to tell you, you should get this paper pack. Let me show you the front cover, because I think if you're going to make these, this you should be able to get a bunch out of this paper pack, because all of these pages... Look, the little sleds, the little snowflakes, the plaid, the orange, those are snowman faces. The blue, all these colors will work good for your mugs. So if you had this and you get four from one page, you can make these. Make this for your Sunday school. How cute would it be to show up at Sunday school with one of these for everybody? Let me tell you all something. It was Tony Sloan that came to Craft Acropolis that made a gift for every student in every class she was in. Yes. And it was so cute. It was, they weren't. Like, I don't want to say they were simple because I don't want it to sound like it was, oh, that was simple. No, what I'm saying is they weren't like this over-the-top thing. She just found something she could mass produce that would be super cute and brought them in. And everybody talked about, oh, look at this. And I think this would be a cute little thing to show up and have it at your little, your little place. And if you wanted to, like, have a sentiment, just on the back put a little piece and put Merry Christmas or just wanted to tell you your snow amazing or I snow mm -hmm. love you. Oh. I'm snow in love with you. Wouldn't that be cute? I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes, Frostable. Thanks, Tammy. That Frostable. So you can get four from one page. Did y'all understand that? Yeah, it kind of, I feel like this paper pack and that stamp set do work well together. I didn't realize it. It was accidental, but I do like it. I do like it. 
Yeah, Pan of Lover. We, I understand it was not a sequel, but it was kind of along the same theme, if I remember right. But I had my, if you watch I had the mine thing, totally backwards mm -hmm. because White Christmas is the one that it is about the saving the general, and I had them the two backwards. Josh's so. favorite movie is Holiday Inn. That's Josh's favorite Christmas movie. All right, co-workers, good idea. Did Vinny bubble cut the snowman? Yeah, he bubble cut a snowman. And, and then I re-bubble cut it. Good. I re-bubble cut it. Yeah, but see, that's because you're extra. <laughs> no, not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Miss Tony, we love what you do. I still have your, um, oh. <laughs> We've moved everything. I had her hand sanitizer sitting right here somewhere. Anyway. That's in your carousel. And your lotion. That lotion's my favorite lotion. I loved it. That's what Tony did. She gave us little sanitizers. She gave us um a, she gave us a mug with actual hot chocolate and all I mean with candy in it. Was there hot chocolate in our mug? Yes. Um and she gave us the lotion, which I love. Loved it. All right. Why don't we head to Oh, here's the thing. That's what I was saying. You don't need a cricket for this. Shannon Fussy cut hers yesterday. Do you know where yours is? Yep. Um, you know where it got set? It's um, out front. Oh, the... we put it out front. Shannon just fussy cut this. I fussy cut mine. I didn't. I'll show you. I made this project in a live yesterday, I think it was. Were we live yesterday? Uh, or Tuesday? Yeah. When the stamps came in. Tuesday. 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 I fussy cut these. So you don't have to uh, have a cricket. I just, when I can use it, I use it because I think it's a very good investment and it's worth it. Okay, question from Cheryl. Would there be any leftover paper from the folio class to make one of these mugs? Oh, probably. But I can't tell you for sure. Like, if you're wanting to, to make one, you'll be okay. I wouldn't cut up a whole page just in case because <laughs> you might want it in your folio. And we'll talk about that in the after show. So I tell you what, since we're just chatting, let's head to the after show so this doesn't get super Tim long. just posted the link. There's the link for you guys, and we will see you there in a few minutes. All right, guys, have a good afternoon.